Hey guys, Alexander here, back with another video covering properties of the binomial distribution. In this video, I will be deriving the mean and variance of the binomial distribution, and I will be doing so by using the definition of the expected value and variance. So let's start off and remind ourselves. If a random variable x distributed binomially with n number of trials with each having a success probability of p, then the PMA for x, which is the same as the probability that x is equal to this small x, a realization, is equal to n factorial over n minus x factorial times x factorial multiplied by p to the power x times 1 minus p to the power n minus x. And always remember, quote the support of your distribution. The binomial distribution takes on values from 0, 1, 2. Its support takes on values from 0 to n. Okay? So, now let's get started. The expected value of x for a discrete, con a discrete distribution is defined as the summation of x for all values uh, over the entire support of x times p of x. And in our case, this is going to be the summation from x is 0 to n of x times n factorial over n minus x factorial times x factorial times p to the power x times 1 minus p to the power n minus x. So note that x factorial can be written as x times x minus 1 factorial. So that means we can cons cancel this x and this x factorial, which then makes it an x minus 1 factorial. And this gives us the suggestion for how we want to go change our um, this uh, summation operator. We want to go transform it into something where this x minus 1 will lead to a binomially distributed random variable with n minus 1 trials with, with the same success probability of p. Well, how do we go about doing that? Well, the first thing we need to notice is this is now x minus 1. We can't have 0, so we're going to have to change the lower limit of our summation operator. So it becomes the summation from x is 1 to n of n factorial over n minus x factorial times x minus 1 factorial, p to the power x, 1 minus p to the power n minus x. And then let's examine this summation. I said we want to go change it to a binomially distributed random variable with n minus 1 being the number of trials, number of independent identically distributed Bernoulli trials we have. So to get that, we're going to need to use some transformation. So let y be equal to x minus 1. So that implies that x is equal to y plus 1. So why do I say that? Well, when you have this combi the formula for um, the number of combinations, it's ncx. And we want to change this x minus 1 into some x. We want to make it some single uh, variable, which is y. So we let y be equal to x minus 1. Then when we substitute these in, let's change the limits of our summation operator. So x equals to 1 is the same as saying x minus 1 is 0. And we know x minus 1 is y. So we go from y equals to 0. And note that we go up to the limit of x equals n. So x equals n, plug n into this equation, we get y equals to n minus 1. So this will be our new range of uh, the trials that we are sum summing over. So then we still have this n factorial over here. This becomes n minus x factorial becomes n minus 1 minus y factorial. And x minus 1 we know already is y factorial. p to the power x becomes p to the power y plus 1. And 1 minus p to the power n minus x becomes n minus 1 minus y. So let's firstly look. 
I said we wanted to have a new random variable y, which is distributed binomially with n minus 1 trials and p. Well, we need an n minus 1, but over here we have an n factorial. So note that n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 factorial. And if our uh, PMF is, is for y, then we know that this is going to have to be p times p to the power y times 1 minus p to the power n minus 1 minus y. Because we want the summation of these exponents to be n minus 1 which we only achieve if we have y plus n minus 1 minus y. So, noting that we have to factor out this p and we have to factor out an n, we can say that the expected value of x is equal to n times p multiplied by the summation of y equals to 0, to n minus 1 of n minus 1 factorial because we factored out the n over n minus 1 minus y factorial times y factorial multiplied by p to the power y times 1 minus p to the power n minus 1 minus y. And note that I write this not as n minus y minus 1 but instead as n minus 1 minus y. This is to ensure that you have this association. You want an n minus 1, an n minus 1, and another n minus 1 over here. Okay? So, once we've done this, if you look carefully at this function here, this is simply the probability mass function for a random variable y that is distributed binomially with n minus 1 trials and a success probability p. And we know that the summation over the entire support for, uh, for the um, PMF, which is uh, P of X, we know that this always has to evaluate to one. So that means that the expected value of X is equal to NP, because this whole summation evaluates to one, and that, that's that. We've derived the expected value of X for a binomially distributed random variable, well, random variable by using the definition of the expected value. Okay. So a, a bit long, but once you are, are accustomed to the idea of the substitution, it becomes very easy. Well, that's the expected value of x. Let's get to the variance. Firstly, remember the shortcut formula for the variance. The variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the square of the expected value of x. But, okay. but when we are dealing with discrete distributions, it's often easier to go find the expected value of x times x minus 1, and which is equal to the expected value of x squared minus x, and then we know by because expectation is linear, we can say expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x. So we know that the expected value of x squared can also be written as the expected value of x times x minus 1 plus the expected value of x. Okay? Because this will cancel out with this. And the reason we do this is because often it's easier to use this for the discrete distributions than directly trying to compute the expected value of x squared. So let's see if my statement holds true. Let's go try it out for the, to derive the variance for the binomial distribution. So the expected value of x times x minus 1 is equal to the summation from x is 0 to n of x times x minus 1 times n factorial over x minus, uh, sorry, n minus x factorial multiplied by x factorial times p to the power x times 1 minus p to the power n minus x. Okay, note that, as usual, x factorial can be written as x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 factorial. Okay, that means we can cancel out these 
the product of x and x minus 1 in the numerator with this x times x minus 1 and we're left with x minus 2 factorial. Note, had we put x squared there, we would have run into a bit of trouble because then we would have been left with x over x minus 1 factorial because we would have had an x squared here which would not have cancelled nice, factored nicely into this factorial operator. So we prefer to use x times x minus 1 and this is often something that we employ to derive the variance for discrete distributions uh, because it, 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 it would factor nicely into some factorial present in the distribution, this probability mass function. So let's carry on. The expected value of x times x minus 1 is going to be equal to the summation from x is equal to 2 because we've now we're now left with x minus 2 factorial. So n factorial over n minus x factorial times x minus 2 factorial multiplied by the probability multiplied by p to the x times 1 minus p to the power n minus x. And again, what do we have here? We have an x minus 2. That suggests we want to transform this summation operator into some constant multiplied by the probability mass function of a binomially distributed random variable with n minus 2 trials and a success probability p. So how do we achieve this? Well, we let y equal to x minus 2. Okay, so that also implies that x is equal to y plus 2. Then we know, need to go change this summation so with the new limits. So if x is equal to 2, that means y is going to be equal to 0. And if it's up to n, then it means that y is going to be equal to n minus 2. We are then still left with n factorial over n minus 2 minus y factorial times y factorial multiplied by p to the power x which is y plus 2 times 1 minus p to the power of n minus 2 minus y. And now let's get to simplify. Note again, we have an, the summation up to n minus 2, so we want an n minus 2 here. We want to be left with an n minus 2 over here, and we want to have an n minus 2 over here. So we need to be left with an n minus 2 at the top here. Note that n factorial is equal to the product of n, n minus 1, and n minus 2 factorial. So let's factor n times n minus 1 out of that n factorial. So we're left with n times n minus 1. And let's note as well that we want the summation of these exponents to be equal to n minus 2. Well, we're going to have to remove this plus 2. We want to just be left with y. So how do we remove that p to the power of y plus 2? Well, we simply factor out p squared. Then our, the summation operator, what's inside of it becomes the summation from y equals 0 to n minus 2 of n minus 2 factorial over n minus 2 minus y factorial times y factorial multiplied by p to the power y times 1 minus p to the power of n minus 2 minus y and we note that this is the probability mass function of a random variable y that is distributed binomially with n minus 2 trials and a success probability of p and as we're sum summing over the entire support of this pmf of the random variable y we know that this summation simply becomes one so we are left with the expected value of x times x minus 1 is equal to n times n minus 1 times p squared and now let's go find out what is the variance of x the variance of x is equal to the expected value of x times x minus 1 plus the expected value of x minus the square of the expected value of x so let's go write all our values in n times n minus 1 p squared plus n times p as we've derived earlier minus n p squared so we're left with n squared p squared 
minus NP squared plus NP minus N squared P squared. That leaves us with these two cancelling out and NP times 1 minus P. Okay? And remember, if we let Q equal 1 minus P, then we have the variance of X is equal to N P Q. And that's how we derive the variance and the expected value of X for the binomial distribution. It's quite a bit of work, as you can see, but once you are used to the idea of substituting, once you are used to the idea of using the expected value of x times x minus 1 instead of the expected value of x squared, then your life becomes much easier. So, in summary, the expected value of x for a binomial, binomially distributed random variable is n times p. The variance of x is n times p times q or n times p times 1 minus p. And the tricks that we employ in deriving these results, if you ever have to derive them, is trick number one. You substitute. So we substitute, say, a, va a value y equal to the simplified Um, simplified factorial in the denominator of your, combina your combinatorial operator. Okay? So the x, the ncx, Whatever this becomes after simplification, we go say y is equal to that simplification. That's number one. Number two is if you have to go and then find what that summation operator becomes, it will always become, it can always be factored into a constant. times the PMF of a new binomially distributed random variable, okay? With a number of trials which will be equal to this question mark, this simplified uh, X factorial, and the same number of, uh, same success probability, okay? And then lastly, another trick that you should use is that instead of doing expected value of x squared, we do the expected value of x times x minus 1, and we simply go add the expected value of x in, because this makes it easier to utilize this combinatorial formula, which is n factorial over n minus x factorial times x factorial. It's easier to go plug in and simplify x times x minus 1 than x squared. Okay, so those are the tips and the tricks that you use and the way in which you employ them to derive the mean and variance of the binomial distribution. I hope this video has made your, your pursuit of your studies in statistics easier. Poor Commander, out.